welcome to our show. Today we have Andrew Work, hey, founder and chief editor. Harbor Times. That's it. That's it. Pleased to be here with Vincent Wong, the uh, founder of Hong Kong uh, Solutions on Wheels. All right. Milton Friedman, are you talking about? Yeah, Milton Friedman. Uh, died the suicidal impulse, I think, is... A of the business community, oh, yes. It's a direct quote from him? Uh, it's one of his most famous essays. Yeah. And what he talks about in that is, you know, business always wants business to be free unless they want something from government. And quite often, business will argue for things that in the long term or even the short term will hurt business will even sometimes even kill them. When they ask for government support, they ask for regulation that works in their favor, not thinking that those same regulations, the same philosophy, the same idea could then come and be used to hammer down on them. Give me an example. So, uh, in the chief executive's policy address, he had a little toss away line about supporting creative industries and saying, oh, maybe we should make developers, as condition of their land lease, insist that they put cinemas in their presence. And there's been concern because a couple of cinemas closed, because it was getting too expensive. You know, and the land can be used more profitably or more efficiently in another way. Fine. That's business. But I mean, for the government to come in and say, somehow making malls, you know, take cinema owners at lower rates is somehow going to help local movie industry? No, they're just going to show what people want to see, whether that's James Bond or Star Wars, not, you know, Another Night in Taipei or One Night in Taipei or whatever that terrible movie was. Uh, there's no direct line. There's no connection. Peter Lamb, who is a developer and chairman of the tourism board, although that's not really a connection here, but he's also the owner of MCL, Multiplex Cinemas Limited, the biggest operator of cinemas, and he comes out and says, oh, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, the government should make developers take cinemas, which is kind of like saying they should take my cinemas you know, and this is this this impulse that people have, and it, it could turn it, it's, around. It's not as direct as that. I have to be fair. I mean, it's somehow the government still have to go through the tendering process. Yeah, but he would be a very he would be in a very good position. Oh, oh, yeah. To to yeah. To, to, to bid and and win the tender. I, I have to say. Extending that logic, though, if yeah. he can get the government to put that on his fellow developers, why couldn't the government then turn but, around but, and but, say, well, for yeah? But going back to Milton Friedman, how is okay. that bad for? The business. cinema running, not not the movie industry, but the cinema running it's industry. Bad. It's bad for business in general. So take a guy like Peter Lamb as a very concrete example. Oh, great. So he gets like cut rate deal to get his cinemas into a few places that he couldn't afford before, and he's making more money. Great. He also runs restaurants and hotels. What if the government says, well, that worked out so well. We have the new agricultural policy. Peter Lamb, your restaurants have to use Hong Kong food. Not our problem how much you pay for it, but now the price just went up because they know he has to buy it. Or how about his movie theaters? We, we want to support media in Hong Kong. You have to show ads for Harbor Times in front of your movies instead of letting oh, Fankel pay you. Yeah, from a macroscopic you know? point of view, I can yeah. understand. But I'm just looking at the microscopic point of view. I okay. mean, normally, yeah. if you are willing to uh, write in your lease sure. that you have to build a similar, sim, sim, sure. cinema of, of what scale, yeah. is actually a lot of predetermination. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because the government will tell you, I need two big cinemas, three medium size, sure, yeah, and, and uh, six screens, yeah, and, and, seats, and yeah. maybe uh, with the option of two IMAX, yeah. three three D screens, right? That right? Yeah. You have to fulfill those requirements, sure, without knowing, yeah, what movies are you going to show? What movies are going to be shown? Who the operators are going to be? And that. The developer is going to be like, uh, then I'm paying less for and that providing, property. and provided that, yeah, with Netflix mm. just landed in Hong Kong, yeah. this yes. month, yes. I mean, I don't know what will happen to the cinema operation business. Yeah, that's my worry. I mean, well, you can have huge, sure, but empty cinemas which hurt the industry more. Exactly. I think that's. That's, exactly. a, that's my micro you know, analysis. Which, you are the macro guy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm in my, my well, monetary gritty, but, there's, there's but answer, would you agree? There's an answer on how to solve that problem. Let the market solve it. Yeah. You know, let business people take risks, not the government try to do You know what? Watching more you know what? or developers. As we are speaking, yeah. uh, the Festival Walk yeah. in Kowloon Yeah. the cinema complex there yeah. is closing there. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it's a telling sign. Yeah. It's, it's not entirely about rental. Yeah. But demand and supply. 
Yeah. Well, so, you know, but it, that's business. You know, I'm quite okay yeah. with that. But I mean, business people. I, whenever I see a business person out there asking the government to intervene, in at the, the economy, at the end, asking for it to be turned yeah, on. Yeah. At the end of the day, if yeah. there are too many cinema, which have too many empty seats, yeah, it's not a wide use of commercial properties. No, of course, shut them down. You should shut them down, change yeah. it into a food court or even other, other whatever, shops. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Even shops for local entrepreneurs. I mean, sure. or whoever you know, whatever yeah. the market, whatever the market will yeah. bear. You know, whatever people want to pay. That I'm with you. So. But I think sometimes, even yeah. the wisest businessman, or more experienced one, yeah, including Mr. Peter Lam, may have to go through the process. Well, to understand. Yeah. But the problem is, how much social costs have we paid for a lesson like that? Yeah. So with yeah. that in mind, I it's hope you like our analysis. I wish you stay warm and uh, stay out of all, all types of illness. Yeah. Uh, best wishes for the weekend. And uh, remember to like, share our shows. We really need your support. And with that in mind, I really have to thank Andrew Work. All right. Good thanks. work, Andrew. Hey, great solutions, Vincent. Cheers.